For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another offensive scheme for you guys today out of the Baltimore Ravens playbook. This is one of the best running playbooks in the game, and the play I'm going to show you today might be the best running play that the entire playbook has. There's a couple of plays I'm going to show you today, but without a doubt, if you guys want to see more Ravens or more from this formation, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. Other than that, let's go and skip right into the video. The formation is the full house base, where if you guys watched my channel last year when I was on my Pistols offensive e book series uh there's a very similar formation that particular formation had more passing plays but it's essentially the exact same formation and it has some of the best plays uh, that that particular formation has including this one here which wasn't in that playbook last year the wing power o that play is like one of the best stretch type plays in this entire game but let's go and let's do what we always do. We're going to put these plays into our audibles. Uh, the plays I'm going to show you, I'll start off with the Ravens read option, although realistically, that's not necessarily the best play. The slam's a very good inside run, uh, but the two best runs, without a doubt, are going to be the Raven counter lead and the wing power O. Those are the two most explosive plays. Like I said, this play here, it's kind of like a stretch play with like with lead blocking, which is totally overpowered. And then the counter lead, I mean, it's basically the fact that you have two fullbacks in the backfield. You have pulling guards on both of these plays. I mean, it's just really overpowered blocking the slam and the read option are kind of basic <laughs> by comparison but ultimately these are your four best run plays in this formation now as far as pass plays go i will just have those uh in my ravens ebook and on my uh patreon my join now community tab all that stuff links in the description below if you guys want to check that out but i'm not really going to go over any of these pass plays today although the pa cross shot is a pretty good one play touchdown against cover three and cover four uh there's a couple of really good plays here but like i said you have to check out the ebook to get the rest of these passing plays now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at aoeh.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is click the link in the description and use discount code money at checkout uh, to get three percent off and like i said help out this channel so all the people that do that shout out to you guys for that now as far as these run plays go like i said i mean i could easily run the slam here this is a, pr a pretty good option considering there's nobody over the guard uh you're gonna want to keep this in your autos i mean it's definitely gonna come in handy as far as a good inside run but the most exciting explosive runs are definitely going to be the outside. I really don't feel like there's a read when it comes to the counter. I feel like I can run this against just about anything, so I'll go ahead and I'll do that. That's the thing about these run plays. I feel like they're going to work like, no matter what defense you look at. They have a lot of success because of all the excessive blocking, but you know, I'm just going to run it. Like I said, I typically have reads. This is this is the type of plays doesn't really have reads. You know what I mean? These plays have success because of all the extra blocking. They're going to have success no matter what. So here, I mean, this is your traditional look. If you're going to run a counter run, this is the type of look you want where the defensive ends really far out so that's going to be something where i could definitely um you know just basically use the counter at its maximum potential as you can see right there so i definitely have faith in this counter play even though you typically want gaps i don't even care like right here we don't have any gaps i'll still run that you know what i mean it's still that it's it's the blocking is that good don't really care what i'm looking at if they have outside containment inside leverage whatever here the box safety down the box i could run it right into that i don't even care like i said this play it's so good i could run it against you know there's no defensive look in my opinion that really stops this that's how good that is right here if i want to flip it too like i said i can flip it i'm so not used to running it in this direction though i don't know if i'm going to be able to going to be able to do that but you can see it but we're just the blocking is just insane there's so much blocking here the second best player maybe even the best play is going to be the wing power out it completely changes though i mean it basically turns into a traditional uh almost like a single back uh ace look you know with uh even look on each side but you really have the opportunity to basically run this like a stretch play with a lead pulling guard which most stretch plays don't have i can flip this play too with the right stick but i always want to run it away from any cover three box safeties like in this scenario there's a box 
lock safety. So here, like I said, I can run it right up inside here, or a lot of times you can take it outside and basically just run it to the edge, kind of like a stretch. But you can see how the blocking works out there. Very overpowered run. Like I said, that's another play. I could really run that against anything. I have faith. These two plays are so good. I have faith you can run them against just about anything you see. I'm going to run in the direction of the tight end this time. Like I said, a lot of times you're going to want to take it outside. My guard did not quite get on that block in time. Maybe I overran him, but you can see the blocking is just insane. So you can see the blocking on these two plays here. Like this is not a traditional counter look. I could run this anyway. But based on the fact that they're pinched tight, we'll go ahead and we'll switch over to the wing power L. Now we're going to have advantage to the edge on both sides. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to hit him with this, uh, with this look. Although that looked like I either run commit or a cover four. And I still almost got past that safety. So this is really your reads. You're really just reading are they are they tightly packed or are they spread wide? Here they're kind of tightly packed, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the power rank. If they're spread, they're spread wide, we typically want to go with the counter. But you can see right here, I mean if that block holds up, I can just take this and get a lot of big runs. I, I don't know if I should put Dobbins in or what, but you can see, I mean, I'm getting 10 yards before there's anybody even in my area code. Here's once again, they're they're spread uh, to the point where I definitely don't think that the outside run's gonna work. Uh, this is something where, you know, best opportunity for the slam. I could flip this play the same way and just run right over. I mean, look at that, dude. They just cleared those holes and left the linebacker just waiting for him. But I still had, you know, a good five yards of space before I ran into him, so it still worked out. All the pulling blocks is really what makes this play so good. And then obviously the wing power O is a very good play as well. I could really go either direction here. I might want to just go with uh, whoever my better blocker is, which is typically going to be the fullback. And then you can see, I mean, he just, he was moving on to that next level and then the defender came back and snatched me. So two very good plays. Uh, you know, without a doubt, you could run this type of offense all game. And like I said, these safeties are just coming down quick and filling. But for the most part, you can see the opportunities are there for, for explosive one play touchdown runs. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more plays, I'm going to have a full scheme of this on my Patreon. So if you guys want to see it on YouTube, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, and I will put that out uh, in a, at a later date. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content. Content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.